Hi, so I've just loaded up your project and I thought we'd go through it together to uh, see if this works. So uh, we've got the samples. I assume they're all correct. I haven't created these, um, but I can see we've got the HR1 in there. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to recreate all these monoliths just to make sure we've got it all correct. So let me close out of highs and we'll just delete all of these files in here. So we should have the samples still. Yeah. So we've got all the samples and we've got the sample maps. So let's just open the sample maps and just check that they're okay. So yeah, project folder, project folder, they, they all look fine. Um, I don't know if special characters cause an issue, but it, it looks fine to me. So we're going to change the save mode back to zero since I've deleted the monolith. So let's do that. So we'll just do find in all files. And we'll replace those with save mode zero. Okay, so now let's load highs back up and reload your project. And yeah, so the samples are loaded, but they're not loaded as monoliths because we don't have those. So let's recreate the monoliths. So to do that, I'm going to right click in here, go to tools and select re-encode all sample maths, all sample maps as monoliths. And um, yeah, I'll just leave the default settings and we'll click okay on that. Okay, so it says we're missing some files. So there's a problem with at least one of the sample maps. So let's have a look. So it's, um, Tung FA 62. Right. So this is actually a sample that's missing. So you've got some missing samples here. Don't know what that folder is. I'll delete that. So we're going to samples. Um, I don't know which sample map these are coming from. D left. We don't have a folder called D left. Um, samples. Yeah, so there are some missing samples, so that might cause an issue. But we'll see how we go. Oh, okay, so I can find out which sample map they're from here, probably. So, so far, so good. Okay, so this one is missing some samples. So it's, it's just the one sample map, so let's have a look. So it's um, this one. So yeah, um, so it's expecting to find these samples in here. Um, let's see if it's in one of the other folders. I don't know if you, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if you've included this one. So let's just see if it's in there. No. So you, you're missing a few samples, but I, I don't think that will stop it from working. It will just stop this one particular patch from loading up. So if we go to export and we'll export the project as a standalone, uh, let's clean the build folder first, actually. So we'll go to export, clean build directory. Okay, and actually let's check the project settings. Um, it's not an effect, so we don't need these two checked. Um, yeah, you're not using that, so we'll uncheck that one and we'll uncheck these two as well. Uh, uncheck that one. You're definitely not using Loris. Um, at least I don't think you are. So uncheck that. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's all my stuff. Right, so we'll save that. Um, we clean the build folder, so we'll export a standalone. And... 
looks okay. So there is an image in there. Let's just see how big that image is. So, oh yeah, I remember now. This is the, so that's about 80 megabytes. So you might run into some issues with that, but it should still compile. So we'll just compile that. And while that's compiling, we'll export the samples as the HR archive. Um, yeah, that all looks good. So I'll just click OK on that. Now, obviously, we're going to run into an issue where there's the missing one. I don't know if it's going to say anything. No, so that's OK. It only exported the monoliths anyway. So we'll just wait for this to finish. It's nearly there. So I'm just doing the standalone export, which should be enough to test. And the samples will be, there we go, there's our HR file. Okay, so we should have the binary now, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna select install samples. We're going to go to the project folder and select our HR file. And we're going to select the desktop and I'll call it temp because it's just a temporary folder. Click OK. Um, yeah, that's OK. So we'll click OK on that. So it's extracting them all. And now it says please relaunch. So let's just check the desktop, make sure the files were extracted. There they are. And let's have a look at the link file, which will be in here somewhere. I can't remember what the name of your, what's your company name set to? Uh, okay, we're going to do the G. So it's here. So we should see the link file in here. And that should point to my desktop temp. Yep, so that's correct. So now when I run this again, it should just load up. Uh, we don't have a keyboard, so I can't click on it. But um, the RAM usage is at zero. So let's see if I load something. Yeah, I can see the RAM usage there goes up. So am I able to, I don't know how you are interface works but without a keyboard I can't trigger any sounds uh, but yeah I can I can see the RAM usage here so the samples are being loaded so yeah it all seems to be working fine you're just missing a few samples from that uh, one sample map okay hope that helped